everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Papilla from Gaming here, and today we're playing some more Cookie on Kingdom. So today, uh, we have the one and only, the true and perfect Golden Age of um, Trade event. So, I think they realized from their mistakes, because I believe it is now ten times harder, so we're not completely finished, except we will be in five seconds when I do a bunch more trades. So yeah, they decided, hey, you know what, this was a fun event, let's do it again. Sure, it encouraged me to actually spend my resources instead of stockpiling them, for no good reason. Because yes, there is absolutely no good reason I should stockpile them. So you know what, here, we'll get the last 10,000 points. I'm pretty sure that one bit of wool is worth like 15,000, so we're probably okay. Uh, I'm still pretty sure there is late, 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 like, endgame items that probably do give you, like, everything for free still, but whatever. Now we're just gonna keep doing this for a bit more cash, because I don't know why. I just want to do it. Is that it? I'm pretty sure I'm like completely out of everything at this point. Apparently not. See, I always end up with lots of some things and very little of other things, even though they're making the, it more balanced in terms of all this stuff. It, you still don't have an even amount of everything. It just doesn't work out that way. And it probably never will, no matter how hard they try. Okay, this has to be enough, right? We're good. How can I keep affording these things? I'm getting lucky. I don't have any tools. What do you know, six axes exactly. I have like five of each tool, how am I still going? Usually tools are like every other, every other wish. There we go, more axes, we're done there. So that's probably the rest of them if I had to guess, yeah, which means collection marathon, these are still really easy. I do like these, they're fun. I'm curious what my ranking is, was that there last time? I wanna say that wasn't here before. I don't know if that's true, so let's look at ranking. I am 72,546, I am 68%. Yeah, that shows you how easy this is. This is day one. I'm completely finished, and I'm 68%. Yeah, that's not very good. Though, look at the number one point. Is that 1.8 mil? 1.8 million points. Yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, we're going back again. So, you know, you can't even get anything max. The best you have is 10,000 each, which obviously is still a lot, but it's nowhere near as much as that crazy number. 1.8 million points. That's insane, but anyways, we have 28 more guild gotchas, which means you know exactly what time it is. It's time to get upset at guild gotcha lock, woohoo! One of these days, I will say this every single time until I get it. I believe this will be the, like, 12th time of me saying this. One of these days, we're going to get cream puff cookie, and it'll be the title of the video, the thumbnail, it'll be great. An easy video, won't have to worry about anything, no thinking necessary. Until then, hey, I actually needed that. That's pretty cool. Until then, we're just gonna be doing this over and over again, getting disappointed, at least mildly. Mild between basically it goes mildly disappointed or severely disappointed because I got exclusively commons, and anything that wasn't a common was topping pieces. Yeah, those are pretty big disappointments. Realistically, the only things I want whatsoever are ethics. So most of the stuff I don't care about. I mean, I guess the XP and stuff somewhat nice. We actually, I think we'll have enough XP to get, um, Licorice to level 57, but we're officially running out of skill power. I'm pretty sure we only have enough to get him to 56, but he's getting really close to max. If I had to guess, by, like, next week, he'll probably be level 60. Potentially five stars, well, oh, a max cookie. We're gonna get a max cookie. Can you believe it? I'm excited. That's gonna be a big deal. But, I mean, I guess we're still a decent ways away from that. Shouldn't get excited too early, prematurely celebrate. Wouldn't be a good idea, but yeah, so here we go. Let's do that quickly. Uh, licorice, my friend. Level up. Level you up twice? How close are we? We can level you up twice. Max, you lied. It was like, well, Max, you can't do it. No, in fact, we're all pretty close to getting you to level 58, my sir. Yeah, it's gonna be close. The only limiting factor is no skill powers, because I literally have zero and I need 26. But toppings, we can remove the final one. Are you the last rare? Yes. Remove. We finally have the final epic cooldown topping. Your toppings will be maxed, your level will be maxed in a couple days, and getting you to 5 star... I mean, if we actually pull you, like, once or twice, that's a really big deal, but it's still probably gonna take a while. But I don't know, we're getting those mileage points really quickly. Okay, come on, toppings, stop failing! <laughs> this is going so badly. It's a 30% chance, are you kidding me? That took, like, 12 tries. Uh, one of these days will happen. One of these days. I mean, I guess we'll open our free gift and any other random cookie cutters and treasure draws we have, but I don't think we're gonna spend any gems yet. We'll probably save that till later. 
after I disappointed because I am gonna try chapter 9 one more time. I'll pro or chapter 10 rather. And when I lose horribly, then we'll do a cookie draw to make myself feel like we achieved something. Because that's the whole point of cookie draws. If you can't play the game normally, do a cookie draw. Instant success. Uh, anyways, um, nice story for once. I got my Battle Cats account back. That was nice. That was a fun thing to wake up to. So it turns out my original, like, tech support message, uh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot to press complete. So they have like this complete button at the end of the process and I pressed it but I think it lagged or something nothing happened. So then I like I just it stopped so I didn't bother and turns out the uh, message never went through so what do you know it's not the end of the world because I have the account now because I sent them another message so that's good. It's nice to be able to play Battle Cats again. Now there's just the ever-looming worry that someone will somehow hack the account, but at least that's the only issue now. Also, Custer Cookie Draw, let's go. Three more mileage points, 33, no, 3.33% of the way towards Licorice Cookie to five star. That's a pretty big deal. Actually, it's only 3%, it's not 3.33. But when you think of three, I don't know. I was thinking of three tenths, but obviously this is like exact decimals. See, we're already at 1400, that's pretty good. Considering it's been like a day, I consider that a pretty major success. Was there something else we were gonna do? Right, we were gonna go to chapter 10. Bom, bom, bom. Wait, you get, ooh, this is cool. So when we beat chapter four duck mode, we're gonna get uh, three more licorice cookie soul stones. See, what do you know, licorice. And hey, we're gonna actually get some more um, epic cookie soul stones soon. Well, that's good, cause we're probably gonna end up back here before the end of the day. Cause let's face it, yeah, we're definitely gonna end up back here. Whatever, back to chap- or load at one. We will do this licorice cookie with your level 57 power. Actually, wait, one more thing. I forgot, there was something else I wanted to do. Dark Choco, we're continuing the process. I max leveled you, right? These are max level? It tells me, I really should just look. I've decided it's time to go damage resistance. You guys have been telling me to do this since I first got Dark Choco Cookie. And I kept complaining because I'm like, no, I want damage. I don't want damage resistance. I finally learned my lesson. It's time. I need tank. I need survivability if I want to play story mode, which is honestly the, th it's the part of the game I care most about. I mean, I still care about Arena and all those other things, but I'd rather be like dark mode completed for all the, ch that's the wrong one. So much gold, so much gold wasted. I say so much gold, I think it's 2000, but still 2000 adds up. That's not cheap. It still takes a little bit of effort, you know, like five seconds. Okay, I do have- I'm a little curious though. Oh, because it's bright red, okay. The, on the- like on the right there, it shows you all the toppings. One of them was like bright red, the Searing Ansbury slot, and I'm like, wait, that's weird. And then I realized it, it's probably because- I get it. It's because I looked at the almond ones, and I'm like, oh, that's- that's red, right? Except I'm pretty sure it's brown, which makes more sense, it's just a brownish red. Which, I guess almonds sort of are, they're that, like, weird... I don't know, I think of it as the color that I take a pencil crayon and I always get annoyed because it's like, oh, it's red? I'm... this is 100% brown. Why on earth is it producing a very bright red color? Am I the only one who feels that way? It bothers me so much. So we just spent 300,000 gold. Uh, let me win, please! I put so much money into that. Can we actually make progress now? That would be great. Very, very appreciated. Hey, at least we get to reread these stories again, which I am going to do because, you know, it's me. Of course I will. I will not miss out on any opportunity to read story. It's pretty fun. Do you think these cake monsters work in the kitchen? We already declared that. I do. Maybe they cooked up all that food that- or all that food from the banquet earlier. Indeed. They are the finest chefs on earth bread. Truly top notch. Everything was super yummy. Do they have any secret recipes? As esteemed chefs, they all have their own visions. Each dish contains a rather special portion of gourmet ingredients from cake monsters. Um, I think I'm gonna be sick. Really, the cannibalism stuff again? I thought we were done with that. Ugh, really? Are you kidding me? We're bringing back to the beginning of the game with the cannibalism talk. I don't want to. It's gonna get me, like, flagged on YouTube. They'll be like, you said cannibalism, don't say that. I'm not gonna repeat that anymore. I probably should have stopped already. Hey, Dark Chocolate Cookie's alive. That's cool. He died before. That's part of the reason we lost this stage. So maybe that'll make a bit 
difference. I mean, obviously he's taking a lot of damage. But our healing's still pretty bad, and our healers are going to die soon. So that's still not great. Somehow, I guess they're using piercing attacks or something like that. It's not ending well for us at all. Like, at all at all. So that's too bad. But I mean, we're not dying horribly. We are able to heal for the most part. Uh, but it's still not great, and I still would much rather, you know, not take as much damage as this. Licorice Cookie, your defense buff is also very useful. I love how you can use, like, a disadvantage with most heals except Parmoner Cookie and Mint Chaco is you can't use them unless you're in field. Like, Rogue Cookie, you can only use if you're in battle. Actually, maybe it's just Rogue Cookie. But Parmoner Cookie, it's nice because you're able to use whenever. Rogue Cookie, you have to wait till you're in stage. Anyways, this is going way better. We're actually winning, which is a good sign. Because we're winning by quite a bit. The next thing I'd say is, I'm still going to match on Licorice first, but... We will need to upgrade our healers, because our healing's losing its effectiveness very, very quickly. Like, very, very quickly. Uh, Parmigrana Cookie will probably be first priority, because as I mentioned a few times whenever I complain that I don't know what cookies to choose, the only, like, locked, solid decisions are Parmigrana Cookie and Licorice, and debatably Dark Chocolate. Okay, come on, we're so close. Don't make me lose cookies right at the end here. Give me the three star, please. That was good. Hey, we win! So, you know, more story, probably. That's exciting. Uh, I mean, it might be like, hey, we beat stage 4 and 5, but that's still something. It'll hopefully give me enough stuff to make up a thumbnail and title, because... Well, I didn't want to talk about something random again. Well, I mean, I guess Gingerbread's birthday, that's cool. He's giving us free stuff. 3 to 9,000 power. Why? Why are you so painfully difficult? And also, how did our power go... You probably wouldn't have realized this. Our power went up like 20,000, giving Lucas Cookie a level... Well, two levels and one skill level. How? How is that considered, like, 10,000 power? I don't know. I'm also annoyed because I did all that and then there wasn't any more story. Then. Maybe there'll be story now, probably. Nope, nothing. What do you know? Disappointment, disappointment, disappointment. It's too bad, but what can you do? I am very pleased, by the way, with the audio quality improvements. It's better now. It's a lot better now, which is really great. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Well, not fun with it necessarily, but... It's just one less stress knowing that, hey, at least I don't really have to worry about the audio. Not that I normally did, but there were issues the past couple times before this, so, you know, it wasn't that nice. I also, by the way, started playing Leaf Blower Revolution, which I now realize is a one-year-old game. I was telling people, thinking to myself, that it was a new game, um, but I was completely wrong. It's an idle game. I like those games. They're pretty fun. But obviously, I don't really think they're that good for channels. I know a lot of people do play them. I just don't like that very much. I like watching it, but I don't really like... I feel like I'd be very bad at, um, commentating over something like that. Uh, I don't know why. But yeah, so we're probably not gonna make videos on that, or I'm probably not gonna make videos on that. But, you know, figured I'd mention it. It's pretty cool. I'm now stuck. Like, the game was going very fast-paced. It was pretty fun. I liked it. The speed was nice. But then, all of a sudden now, I'm at the, uh... I think Ancient Leaves? No, not Ancient Leaves. The one after Ancient Leaves, I forget what they're called, before Mythical. Um, and you can only get them from, like, defeating leaf monsters. It's weird. Don't ask me more. It just makes me think going back to the conversation earlier with the cake monster meals. But, um, it was pretty cool. It worked out pretty well. But it's really, really slow still. Which, I mean, should be expected. I find with a lot of other games, it's really fun. And I understand they have to get slower. But they do a really bad job of making it gradual. It's just like, do 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 do, and then you fall off a cliff, and then the progression just slow stops to a halt. I don't really like that, but almost all games have. Oh, we can't remove this, can we? Yes, three shovels. Uh, I guess we do have time skips, if nothing else. Sure, I guess I'll take the extra. Can I actually level my cookies up to max level? What level am I? This is such off topic. Can I go somewhere? Friends, I think I can see here. No. Guild, I'm here, aren't I? If I go to members, am I one of them? Yeah, level 39. Um, I actually don't have access currently to level 60 cookies. I only have access to level 58. That's cool, wow. I almost actually caught up with the level cap. Yes, that's with one cookie, not an army, but still. Also, how come we had so much story that I missed, and then two episodes and there's pretty much nothing? Stages, whatever. Well, let's just keep on going. We can only do, like, two more of these. Because they're getting so expensive now, but whatever, I guess. Hey, story. Oh, this is such a... This is going to be the thumbnail. I know it. Because just that color pattern looks... Looks incredible. I don't know what the title is going to be, but that right there, that was the thumbnail. I'll just have to spend, like, 
two minutes trying to get it down to the perfect frame. Which I do actually do. I don't put that much work into thumbnails sometimes, but I do definitely try to avoid the text as best I can. Sometimes it's instantaneous though. Anyways, that's not that important. You probably don't care that much. Strawberry cookie. Wow. Pretty. Yeah, I totally agree. Super nice looking. Five ancient heroes depicted on the glass itself. And look, P. Vanilla Cookie, that's you, right? These are the heroes. Oh, so cool. Are we gonna see their spirits? That would be a cool title. I'm just looking for, like, title fodder. Um, let me think. I feel like I need a new voice now that he's pure vanilla cookie. Um, when the vanilla kingdom was established, my friends and I swore an oath right here in the solarium of unity. Oh, that's the th that's the title. I'm gonna stop now, I promise. Our soft and crispy hearts beating as one in the pursuit of peace and happiness for all cookies. So, like, where are the other heroes? I do not know what has transpired to them after the Dark Flower War. This is all due to my failure. I could not protect my kingdom. I could not even protect my dearest friends. It's still too early to start growing. They're great heroes, so I'm sure they're around somewhere. I'm actually pretty sure the other three are dead. Not positive, but pretty sure. Your words bring courage to my heart. I look forward to meeting my friends again. I pray they are all safe, as healthy and bright as their likeness, likenesses seen here. Likenesses? Are they saying, well, like, they're, like, I understand what the word means. They're saying, like, oh, hey, well, they're, like, new generation. Oh, my God, my device is burning. I don't notice it in my hands because I'm touching, like, a fragment, but I put it down to my knee for a second, and it was just, like, I don't know, burning rocks, like, or... Very warm sand at a beach that's like blaring the sun at it because it just absorbs all the heat. Um, it's probably not a very good sign that the device is burning up, but I mean, you know, if it doesn't complain to me and tell me to stop, then I guess it's okay. And you know, worst case scenario, I've already accidentally turned off the game once. The worst that happens is everything pauses. It could be a lot worse. I'm actually pretty lucky that it pauses and its near reaction isn't. Panic, panic, delete everything. Happen way too many times, way too many various things. Where if they run out of storage or overheat or they're just exhausted, essentially, like technological exhaustion. I have no idea if that's the right terminology, but they'll just be like, okay, panic time. What can I delete? Uh, I don't care if it's important. In fact, I prefer if it's impor important because it's probably larger. Let's delete it all. It would honestly be better if, like, obviously I get it, prioritize, like, the largest items, but the largest items are almost always the most important things. So, delete the smaller things, those are least likely to be important. Maybe. I don't know what I'm talking about. Are we out of energy or stamina? Or do we have one more fight? I completely forget. We have one more. Please give me story. I can already somewhat talk about... I, I have... It's still been cool. I like the images. Oh, it's weird seeing because it's the time loop thing. I have to remember that because yeah, there's all these people here. I have to keep remembering it's a weird time loop scenario because time travel. Yeah, well, I'm completely. Oh, I feel stupid now. I was talking yesterday or last time we made a video on this game about all of the like potentials for the future of this story. I didn't even mention the fact that hey, what if I don't know our plan is to maybe time travel to when White Lily Cookie became Dark Enchantress Cookie and, hmm, I don't know, maybe stop that from happening? I can't believe I didn't think about that. I could have gone on forever about time travel. That was one of my original theories for Dark Enchantress Cookie, that it was some weird time travel conspiracy thing. I say conspiracy, that has nothing- Um, nom um, nom, um, 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 what just happened? 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 That was... interesting. Seriously, what happened? They were, they were like the demon enemies, but they just exploded energy everywhere. All of my units took damage, we were almost all dead. If that had gone on for like five seconds longer, we all would have been dead. See, this time's just charging at us. How come the other dude like created a, I don't know, volcanic eruption? That was crazy. That was very crazy. What happened there? Like, a lot of these enemies are normal, none of them was that. Uh, Okay, let me try to think of a new voice for this person. Terrible news! Such horrid, awful news! War! War is upon us! They say Dark Enchanted Cookie started the war. Wait, who is Dark Enchanted Cookie anyway? Now's not the time for debate! We need to leave this place, and quickly! 
Bah! I had to add that. I don't know. I wanted the sheep to say something. I'm surprised they didn't tell me to say the sheep said something. There's an airship waiting under the castle. Young one, softer cookies on board first. Hurry! I guess softer's like weaker or ill, or sick or something like that. Let's hurry! Ack, ow! Stop pushing! What a mess. No doubt about it. Time is twi it's twisted in this area. Powerful magic of this sort is usually fueled by resentment or obsession. Most likely the resentment of Dark and Changes Cookie. Having been trapped within the Vanilla Kingdom for ages, she's been reliving the mistakes of her past over and over. Wait, what? She's been trapped inside the Vanilla Kingdom for ages. Uh, I thought she was trapped inside a giant moonstone. You telling me she was trapped inside this kingdom and breaking a moonstone magically turned White Lily Cookie's spirit, maybe, into Dark and Changes Cookie? And we have some more information. There are still way too many gaps in this story. Which is cool. I know I said that was fun and interesting. I still stand by that, but this is weird. I think I get it. It's like the dreams I have of cops run ruining my heist. I don't think it's exactly like that. Well, that was cool. That was a pretty interesting way to end things off, I suppose. Uh, but of course, we still have, as promised, a ten times cookie draw. First is their random story. They have that sometimes. They're like, hey, you finished? Time to talk. Probably just a quest reward or something like that, if I had to guess. Yeah, quest rewards. Are we gonna level up to the last important level? All future levels aren't that important. No, nothing. I don't know if I expected anything more, but whatever. Pastry cookie, ten draw, come on, give me something good. Licorice cookie, licorice cookie. I know I probably should do the other draw, but I still, I don't know. Part of me still wants pastry cookie, and you know what it isn't? It does not matter, because we did not get an epic anyways. Uh, that's not a bad thing. More licorice cookie soul stones. We will get him five star max licorice cookie. That'll be a video title soon. It will happen soon. I hope so. I think it will, but I don't know. Probably. It probably will. More than likely, it will happen soon enough. My hand is killing me though, so I'm kind of glad this video is ending soon. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Like, it's just a weird position by accident. You don't notice it at first, but then you realize, wait a sec, this is weird. And it creates some weird stress in the wrist or something like that, and it's not fun. Alright, that was pretty lame. We didn't get many mileage points, but I guess whatever. You know what? Thank you all for watching. Please consider giving the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribing, join the Purple Elephant Squad. It makes my day. It's super nice. I really do appreciate it. The subscribe goal for this month, 1,000 subscribers. It's challenging. Probably won't happen until a little bit earlier in July, but that's fine. Still, keep up the good work. Also, I just realized this room, this area thing, is actually on the map too, which is really cool. But you know what? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!